All right, so in this video, we are gonna ride my 2001 FXDX through New York City. Let's check it out. What's going on, YouTube? FXDLS Brooklyn is back in the building. I always love recording here, looking at the tank, and maybe I put my hands out. That's the infamous Ducati NYC pose. If you don't follow Ducati NYC, go check him out. He does a lot of great New York City riding on a Ducati. Gets after it, does his touring miles, so check out Ducati NYC. But yeah, it's a beautiful morning out here in New York City. It's the early springtime, which is actually some of my favorite time to just go and rip around the city itself. Gotta be careful on this though. Shout out to my friend Cheo, who has pointed out almost every single speed camera that's on the West Side Highway. So my folks who are from New York City, just be careful because as of last year, this thing is littered with speed cameras and uh, I'm not running any uh, stickers from the recent charity run on my license plate, so they're gonna get my plate. But come on, man. I don't need to be going super fast right now to enjoy this because let's be real, it's one of the best skylines in the world. And yeah, I really love getting up early on these spring mornings and just getting out here and ripping when it's still kind of quiet out here in the city. In a couple hours, this is gonna look like a very, very different landscape. So I get out here, I get in early and it's very meditative to me. And it's been a while, you all. It's been a while. Like if you clicked on this video and you were intrigued by this video, a lot of my content used to be this type of video where I'm just kind of taking you along for my rides. But these days, all my videos I've been trying to ground in specific topics or questions that subscribers have written in and asked me about. So I haven't really done a video in a while where I'm literally just taking you along for the ride itself. So that's what we're doing right now just taking you along for the ride, seeing what I'm seeing, hearing the things that's in my head, looking at what I'm looking at, just being a part of this moment right now, this very moment right now, because that's all we have. And I'm sure as I'm looking at the soul cycle across the street, that's definitely something that a spin instructor is telling their students right now, right? <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't get the whole soul cycle thing. Um, maybe someone out there could tell me, but, uh, I understand like group fitness, you know, I did CrossFit for many years. I do practice jujitsu, so I, I get that, right? But just standing on a stationary bike and uh, chanting stuff, I don't know. So, someone's gonna write in, they're really angry about that. I'm not talking trash about Soul Cycle, y'all. <laughs> Whoops! Whoops, take it down, Epic Seals Brooklyn. We do not need those early sprint tickets. Oh man, but when you just see a wide open West Side Highway, you just want to rip through this. But yeah, I'm really enjoying life right now. This particular route that I'm doing is one of my favorites because about five years ago at this point, back in 2017, one of my favorite group rides I've ever done was the uh, Northeast Moto Meetup. Again, this is back in 2017. That was a ride that I was a part of that was hosted by my buddy, the BX Polymath, as well as a couple other moto vloggers out here, Defobra and Clutch First. Organized a really great ride that had like 100 or more bikes that myself and the BX Polymath were leading. So it was, it was a great thing. I have a video on it. It's like a really old video, but it's really funny to just see this like group ride of mostly like sport bikes and adventure bikes and a mishmash of all different kinds of kinds of bikes being led by two club style Dinas. Like we were the only Harley Davidsons there. So it's a, it's a memory that's close to my heart. And it kind of brings me back to my early years of getting into motovlogging and 
getting more into the um, just the culture and the community of riding in New York City. And yeah, it was just a really, really good ride. So I always like to do this run when I can or take people to do this run because it's one of my favorite loops. Like the infamous tunnel over here. Now we could uh, unleash a little bit. Dude, I actually don't have my easy pass on this bike, so that's gonna be fun. That's what a Fab 28 sounds like. A lot of carbureted DX. You gotta love the good old battery tunnel. But yeah, a lot of people write in to me and I get a lot of comments of people who have never come to New York City or from out of state or a lot of you all actually used to live in New York City and then you watch my videos and then you see familiar places that maybe you haven't seen in 20 years ago and a lot of these people write in they're like and they are appreciative that I'm taking them around the old neighborhood, etc. Which is really cool to me, because then I always have a bunch of follow-up questions, which is, which was like, hey, what was this area like 20 years ago? What was this like, etc. So I always appreciate that. But then I always have a couple subscribers who, you know, maybe they just want to visit New York City, or they're just maybe living in a very rural place where you don't have access to random chaos like this. And I appreciate being able to take them along for these rides as well. But a lot of times I get, oh, stay in lane. That's really, that's really good life advice. Stay in lane. Stay in your lane, y'all. But sometimes you need to get out of your lane to grow a little bit. That's okay. Just don't veer too far out of your lane and always make sure to know what your lane is. You know, I'm talking a lot of trash in this video, man. I, I, I'd be surprised if anyone is actually still watching this. If you're still watching this video, go ahead and throw up the classic lizard followed by a Dynabro lightning bolt emoji. Let's see who's still watching this damn thing. And I love this part. It's like you're being reborn again. Look at this. You're reborn. Situations that only a city like New York can provide. So yeah, I always get people who write in. Who also write in things like, yo dude, how do you ride the city? There's so much chaos. It's so dangerous. It just does not seem enjoyable. And my response back, whether it's through a video or whether I'm actually writing back in the comment is, how could you not ride in New York City? Dude, this is where, this is, to me, this is fun, man. Like, I love bobbing and weaving with the chaos. I understand there are times where it's brutal. 100% there's times where it's brutal. But for the most part, you know, it's a lot of fun to ride in the city. And I've made the argument before and I'll make it again. The city itself, any urban situation, I feel like is what motorcycles were invented for. You know, you see all the classic motorcycle commercials of the guy riding into the sunset on some open road. That's not my motorcycle experience. My motorcycle experience is this. Bobbing and weaving through city streets, through city traffic, on a Dyna or an FXR. That's my motorcycle lifestyle. 
And honestly, in terms of motorcycles, regardless of what type of bike you're on, I do just genuinely feel like nothing is going to navigate city chaos better than a motorcycle. The only thing that I would say if I'm not going to be on my motorcycle is, I would say, an actual bicycle without a motor. Because then you can get some exercise in and you, again, are still going to get to most places faster than a car. Unless, of course, we're talking about, like, Brooklyn to the Bronx. In that situation, you just go, uh, go hop on the train, man. But yeah, for, again, this video didn't really have a topic, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to title it Ripping Around New York City on my MXDX. But that's kind of what I'm thinking about, I've talked about that a lot in my videos.